First I was afraid. I was petrified. Oh, isn't um, Selena on Netflix now or on Hulu? Uh, the movie is on Hulu, yes. I saw that. They added a lot of movies on Hulu recently. So really? Good ones, yeah. What movie was I watching and I fell asleep? I saw Us. I thought that was interesting. It was a little bit too existential for me, though. Oh, I own that. Really? Us? Yeah. With the, ma with the clones and stuff? And yeah. Like, yeah. I thought it was a little bit like, eh, it was okay. But I do like me some Lupita Nyong'o. Um... Do you know she's Mexican? Yeah. She has her, who is it? Her dad or her mom? She was born in Mexico and she speaks Spanish. Wait, are her parents of Mexican descent? No, her parents are African. Like, I don't, I'm not sure what country in Africa, but they're from Africa. Well. But she was born in Mexico and she was raised there and she speaks Spanish. So she's a Mexican citizen? Uh, maybe she has dual citizenship. That's pretty cool. Mexican and I'm not sure where her parents are from. Guyana or something? We watched, um, Look Who's Talking 1, 2, and 3 mm -hmm. with Mike, because um, those are classics. John Travolta was like in his prime back then. Oh, you know what's on Hulu that you should watch? Mm -hmm. American Gigolo. Is that, the Brad, is that the one with Jennifer Lopez and... Like, no, it's Richard or Gere when he was young. And he was really good looking. Oh, you know what I'm thinking about? Jiggly. That was like a oh, terrible Jiggly. Jiggly. That was like the worst Jalo movie I ever watched in my entire life. No, American Gigolo is a really, really good movie. And Richard Gere was really good looking when he was young. Who's Richard Gere? Gear? Who's that? Oh, you don't know who Richard Gere is? What other movies is he in? Pretty Woman? Runaway Bride? Oh, okay. Excuse me. I don't know who he is, but I know who you're talking about. Gosh, Ignacio. Press the number four if you guys like you some American Gigolo. That's a really good movie. I don't like Runaway Bride. I didn't like it. You don't like Runaway Bride? I fell asleep. What about My Best Friend's Wedding? I do like that one. That one's okay. I do love Bridget Jones's Diary, though. What about Anne Brockovich? Uh, I haven't seen that. Really? So we're going to take pink press on gel to begin to give the nail a beautiful pink color. Uh, I love Sex and the City, too. I'm super excited for the, um, not the reboot, but like the continuation of what's going on with the girls, because I love Sarah Jessica Parker. I think she's so beautiful. They're going to bring back all the characters? Huh? They're gonna bring back the like the original cast. Yeah, I think Kim Cattrall is not coming back, but nobody likes her anyway. I just hope the series is not woke or like very like SJW. I hope it's a like. What's so funny? I hope it's true to what Sex and the City is, and I hope it doesn't like. We weren't talking about beer. We were talking about Richard Gere. Oh. <laughs> She's like, you guys are talking. I'm listening to you guys talk about beer, and I'm watching Doctor Pickle Popper. Oh my gosh. I love that show. <laughs> We were talking about um, Richard Gere and American Gigolo. My husband thinks I'm so gross because I love to watch that show. And then whenever he gets a pimple, I always want to take my little tool and pump his pimple. Ew. I know, but that's love. It's just really gratifying. It's like really satisfying. Look at that shape, you guys. Like, that is just the most beautiful thing ever. Richard Gere is my celeb crush. He was really good looking when he was young. He's from Australia. G'day, mate. Hi from Ottawa. Hi from Ottawa. You're gonna love it. And I think they start shooting in the spring. Is it gonna be like a sh like the another season or is it a movie again? It's actually eight episodes, thirty minutes each on HBO Max. Thirty minutes. I think Sex and the City was thirty minutes too. Mm hmm But only eight episodes. It's not enough. That's what they did with Gilmore Girls when they brought it back. It was only four episodes and they were 45 minutes to an hour. Each. Was it good though? It was like a continuation from like where it left off. It was, it was, it was good. But... I wonder if Carrie's still with Mr. Big. Did any of you guys watch that? Like the Gilmore Girls stuff? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Canada. Bonjour. Hi, man. Hi. Have you seen Weird Science? No. Oh, you need to see Weird Science. What's unpolished? Um, it's a show about nails, I think. Um, the one with Lexi Matrone or whatever? That they live out in Jersey? I think I started watching one episode and I fell asleep. Is it on Netflix or no? Um, I think it's on Hulu? But I'm not a reality show kind of person, so... I'm not saying that to like be shady or anything like that. as much but I was kind of hoping for more we will hang out at Rick's not the Asher Dome that's what Nicole Tipton Nicole Tipton is going to be the, the Texas Cinderella that's what I like to call Anna Nicole Smith okay. no, I'll go to 
rigs and I'll be doing my little sightseeing with my little, I'll get a fanny pack and I'll just walk around. I'll go to the Downtown Houston. Yeah. They got murals down there. They got cool things to see. They got the Astrodome. They got the Astrodome. And what do you need? They got the Toyota Center and they got Rick's. You should have a show too. I should. I don't think it would be that interesting though. The cool tip thing, do you have any relatives that live here in Tucson? Really? Do you think we would make an interesting reality show, Ignacio? Do you remember the Real Housewives of Atlanta? The real what? No, but do you remember that show? Of Atlanta? Yeah. Yeah, was my favorite one. And they would like um, Kim would always talk about Big Papa, and you would never see him. Yes. That would be Paul. Yes. Paul Papa. But Big Papa was a married man. Paul's married too. He's married to you. So, you know what my, my cousin got me for Christmas? She got me the What Do You Mean expansion pack of the Housewives. Huh? Did you ever play that game, What Do You Mean? No. It's a card game. I found out yesterday that, there's, that there is the Real Housewives of New, uh, not New Jersey, of Utah. And I was like, Utah has the Real Housewives? Real Housewives? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, New Jersey and Atlanta were my favorite. Really? Yeah. I liked um, Beverly Hills okay, too. I always uh, loved Miami too. I enjoyed that one. I liked the beginning seasons so though. Like as it went on and they started changing the wives, it started to be like. Like, oh, see, every season was hard to keep up with because they had so many different wives. And... Like, um, like on Atlanta, they kept taking like all of them off. Like, what happened to Sheree? She by Sheree yeah, and Chateau and by Sheree. Lisa, Lisa, and then. Is Gone with the Wind still there? What was her name? Kenya Moore! Kenya Miss USA 1995 or 1996, I think. And then who was it? Like 20? Portia. Portia. She's not on there anymore? But New Jersey, I liked it when it was the original too, like when you had um, Jacqueline and Dina and Caroline. All of them. Prostitution whore, and then she flipped the table. Oh my god, that was the best. With Danielle. That was mm -hmm. great. Ugh. Oh, and Mob Wise. I used to like Mob Wise yeah. too. You know they're bringing it back, but Trader doesn't want to be a part of it. Really? She's never own show. Wow. Now we're going to bake this for one minute, my loves. I still remember that theme song. No, I like the song that Big Ange, God Rest Her Soul, did. Um, she's like, I like cars. I like fur coats. I like the wise guys because they buy me nice things. <laughs> and her daughter's like a teacher, isn't she? Like a really like, normal kind of person. Mm -hmm. I just know that because I follow... Um, Karen mm -hmm. and Renee on Instagram. Wasn't which is the one that was always crying about her dad? Karen. Karen. Well, or it could be Renee too. Well, Karen, it's, her dad is Sammy the Bull. No, Renee. Renee. Renee was always Renee crying about her dad. Was always crying, no, she was always crying about her baby daddy husband. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, the drunken monkey. And then they would get mad because Drita was an Italian. She was Armenian. Yeah, but then she messed with. But then she got with Karen's ex boyfriend. Great stuff, guys. Good times. I remember I used to watch those I just shows. Love the now my life is much more productive ever since I stopped watching that kind of television. Actually, don't um, be surprised how much you can get done. Just, you can build an empire. Those shows were so popular, like when I was in high school. It's Shaw's the Sunset. I used to like to watch too. What's that? Shaw's the Sunset on Bravo with Reza and Mercedes. I watched Tardy for the Party, which was Kim. Oh, show. don't be tardy for the party. Uh -huh. Her husband's really good looking. Croy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What else did I watch? Look at that shape, you guys. She is snatched. I used to watch, I used to watch The Hills and I was like devastated when I took it down and it was all scripted. The Hills? The whole thing's fake. Did you ever see the movie about that um that kind of lifestyle? I think it was called The Bling Ring. No. About those kids that would go to celebrities' houses and steal stuff? No. Really? You've never seen The Bling Ring? No. You need to watch it. It's very you would like it. What's it on? Uh, I'm not sure, but it's on some streaming platform. It's gotta be on something. I just saw on my Instagram that they came out with another streaming service called Discovery Plus, and it's like $4.99 a month, and I'm like, what the heck is that? And I go to their Instagram, and it's like something that I probably should get because it's like true crime, like, and because I'm, a, if you guys don't know, like, I'm a total true crime girl. Um, I, I got all of our employees into listening to like a morbid podcast. So. Oh, you know what I liked about those kinds of shows was um, Hardcore Pawn. Oh, Pawn Stars. I never saw Pawn Stars. I liked Hardcore Pawn because those people get crazy. 
they were like, okay, I can give you this much. And they're like, no, I want this much. And then they would get all crazy. American Chopper. <laughs> no, but I know about that show. Um, Dark Dynasty and all those. Basically, like anything that's on like TLC, like 90 Day Fiance, or like those crazy shows where these teenagers are always pregnant, or like little people they grow, like all of that's going to be on Discovery Plus. <laughs> so it's calling you. And I'm like, man, why do I need to pay another $5 for any other stream service? Like, it's just ridiculous. Just give me one that has it all. Basic cable? No, the cable's too expensive. How much is cable? Like $100. Really? My Hulu bill is like 41 bucks. That's why I borrowed my brother's. <laughs> <laughs> Just sharing his camera. Well, I'm glad your brother has Hulu. That means he's got something together. No, my brother has HBO Max. Oh. And it's my older brother. I have Hulu, and I use my friend's Netflix, and I have my own Disney Plus. That's illegal, Ignacio. Well, whoop, there it is. And Mark is watching you. He's going to ban you. Whoop, there it is. Your joke came today. Great. <laughs> Paul's asking her, how is it? What? <laughs> I'm weak. Okay, so. How uh, is what? Priyana Richmond said my joke came today and Paul, awesome. my husband responded to her and said how is it oh and then um he said she said that it's awesome and he said yes girl <laughs> look at Paul interacting oh shout out to the husband interacting with our customers that's how Paul rolls no, that is the Chamorro way <laughs> you guys are funny so we're going to use the pink carrot bit to blend in the cuticle <laughs> Did you wind up getting YouTube Prime? He did not. I did not know. As you can hear the music in the background get stopped every five minutes. <laughs> YouTube Prime is expensive. 14 bucks? No, thank you. Or what is it? YouTube Red? Or premium? I don't know. And they're all like expensive. And the YouTube like documentaries that you have to pay for? I don't want to watch a series about Paris Hilton or Gigi Gorgeous. I could Actually, care less. That was, her documentary was low key really good. Which one? The one about Paris Hilton. Really? About how she wishes it was still the year 2001? No, it was about her life and how she was like sent to this crazy school where they like did crazy things. They would like rape and abuse these kids. It was like a reform school. But it was really? School. Well, Paris Hilton has a lot of issues. That's why. You should read the book that Nicole Richie wrote about them. It's called The Truth About Diamonds. Did you read the book or did you? I did read it, yes. <laughs> so now we're going to use the long bit available in the seven piece drill bit set to blend in that cuticle. Watch it though, it wasn't that long. It was like an hour. That's okay. It was really good. Whenever I can watch TV, because my kid always hogs the TV, um, I watch Just Friends. Or like Grey's Anatomy. Or Long mm -hmm. Order SVU, because I'm obsessed. Did you ever watch Sex in the City? No. You need to watch Sex in the City, Ignacio. I never got into that. Oh my god, it's so good. You're missing out. I never even watched the movies. <gasps> Such a travesty. Furlough. <laughs> I'm gonna furlough you so that way you can watch Sex in the City. Maybe. Don't you want to furlough so you can watch all eight seasons of Sex in the City in two movies? No. <laughs> I thought there was three movies. No. There was going there was going to be three movies, but um Ken Patrell was a Karen. Oh, she wanted more money? Uh and she did, hates Sarah Jessica Parker. Why? They don't like each other. Are they BFS? No, the no. Uh in Are the show, friends? yeah, they're all four of them are friends, but in real life not everybody can get along. Well, that's why Shannon Doherty stopped working on Charm because her and Alyssa Milano didn't get along and they killed her off. Really? And it was funny because she said that people were writing letters to her and saying, you know, suck it up. I have my job and I don't like my coworkers, but I still go to work every day. I've never felt that more. What? That's it. Really? You don't like your coworkers, Ignacio? I do like my coworkers, but in the past, I've just been weak. What? I didn't always like them, but I still want to work. Is that how you feel about Sassy? No. Your jealousy? For the body. The grind doesn't stop just because you don't like somebody. That's what they told uh, Kim Cattrall, and Kim Cattrall is like, no. She did. She wouldn't do it for the fans. Isn't that sad? That is sad. Antonio likes like Battlestar Galactica. My dad loved that show. Really? <laughs> Mr. Gavino. Yeah. And he also used to watch like Star Trek and um, I don't know. That whole sci-fi channel, really. <laughs> Which is, I mean, I like some of that stuff, too. My parents used to watch the movies on the sci-fi channel. Yeah. Max, she says that, uh, Antonio says, I think he would get tired of me if I worked for him. I'm too spazzy. I could never, because I'm pretty busy when I'm here, actually. I don't talk to anybody. One of the girls that works here talks a lot, and she's like, why are you so quiet? I was like, because I'm working. <laughs> Hi, Miriam. Where's Miriam? No, that's why. 
because she's always talking and she's like, oh, look, let me show you this. And I'm like, Miriam, I'm working. Oh. <laughs> so we're going to use the famous, the, cult classic, A Pink number three. On the sci-fi channel, you know what I like to watch? Ink Masters. All these things, I don't know what they are. Ink Masters? It's like that show you watched about the painting of the bodies, but tattoos. Remember you, we watched it on, in, on Netflix and you were like telling me to watch it. Oh, Dragula? Yeah, it's like that, but tattoos. Oh. Miriam and I are soulmates. <laughs> That's what Antonia said. <laughs> I thought your soul. No, her spirit animal is Gloria. Why? Because Gloria moves everything. <laughs> she does. I never can find anything when I get to work. It's funny. Antonio loves Dracula. Yes, I've seen season two. I think I seen. I think I've seen one or two seasons. It was really good. But the more they had the drag queens, that heavy set drag king lady, she was mean. Please. Not personally, no. Do I know anybody that's a drag queen? No, I don't think so. Maybe. She said Gloria is her spirit animal and Mary is her soul. <laughs> she can have one. <laughs> no, I don't know any drag queens. I don't think so. You never watched um, Purple? Uh, yeah, but the show got really old. Our top model? Uh, not really. I never got into it. Okay. We binged it when it was on. Let's bake this for one minute. This one? Yes, one minute. I love watching Jeffrey Star like on YouTube. Oh, I did see the one about him living in. Where is he living now? Wyoming. Wyoming. I've never been to Wyoming. <laughs> Have you been to Wyoming, Nancio? Yeah, actually. No. What's in Wyoming? Farms. What can they farm in the snow? Uh, Potatoes? I don't know. Who's from Wyoming? And yes, let us know. There. What's popular in Wyoming? Mountains, maybe? Mm-hmm. Ranch. I yes. think land is very uh-huh. inexpensive. Uh-huh. Oh my god, you're gonna love it. I love the new packaging. Yeah. The, the foam? It's, yeah, it's, it's more, um, like it's, it's just easier to pack and stuff. So now we're going to go in with gel polish 001 and we're going to begin our ombre. Remember, when you're polishing an ombre, you want to make it gradient, okay? You don't want to do it all in one shot because it will not blend out well. CC says we drive there for fireworks. Oh, Wyoming. What else is there? I think Paul had a friend in the army that was either from Wyoming or Montana, I think. It's either one of the two. I want to say Montana though. Where is Old Yeller? I was a truck driver. Wyoming is a lot of cattle farms. Oh wow. So lots of cows. So it's like Texas, but with mountains. One of the space kitties is taller than the rest. Are you doing new packaging? Yes. Yes, the taller one is the new packaging. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Your mom's watching. And really? She my nails apart. Lena is watching. Lena Trandai. Lena, are you alive? I miss you. The lizard queen. Lena, drink the water. Drink the water, Lena. <laughs> that is such a good one. That was so cool. I wish I would have gone inside the Quickie Mart, though. Why didn't you? I don't know. Oh, because we're on a schedule. We don't have time to lull the gang. What do you mean on a schedule? We gotta go on every single ride. Weren't you there for two days? Uh, no, not Universal. We were just there for a day. Hola, Sylvia. I don't think we even ate at Universal. Really? Oh, did we? Yeah, we had butterbeer. And she loved it. Oh my god, and everybody we would get on at Universal Studios would break down. Really? Yeah, especially when, like, oh, we were, like, so close to going on the uh, Rip Rocket ro- uh, roller coaster, mm-hmm. and then it broke down, and we waited. And that thing is intense because when you go going up the climb, it's literally at like zero degrees. Like you're looking at the sun. That's kind of scary. Where but, are my homegirl Lena? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Let's Lena, bake that. Thirty seconds. Lena, acknowledge me. 
Alcoholic butterbeer is amazing, she said. You didn't like the butterbeer, did you? Uh, I'm not a big sweet person. Is it sweet? Yes, it tastes like a flat cream soda. Uh, you know, I don't think I've actually been to Universal. And then they go, in between sips, sir. Put your mask on in between sips. In between bites, sir. Put your mask on in between bites. No, but Universal is like more, it, they're not as pushy as Disney. Like Disney has people walking around making sure you got your mask on. In between bites. That was me and Lena's joke Lena. the whole time there. In between bites, Lena, put your mask on. In between bites. The Cookie Land and the Mini Toy Nail Drill, um, they should be going to Australia soon, actually. Um, Paul's just responding to, like, all these people. Wow, he's, he's on a roll today. There you go. Tis the Chamorro way. Um, how do you clean the sponge with alcohol? Alcohol. And we also saw replacements as well, too. Judah is from Cheyenne, Wyoming. Oh, that's awesome. That's, I think, the biggest city in Wyoming, isn't it? What's in, what do you do for fun in Wyoming? Lena says she's here and she's alive. Are you well, though? I think so. Because I miss you. She probably just partied all the time. Work was very fun. Doing it all by myself, Lena. Just kidding. Kind of. <laughs> So like, you know how we told them they clean it with alcohol? Mm -hmm. Paul responded to her saying alcohol. One sip for me, one sip for you. Oh, the song at the Simpsons ride. Duff beer for me, duff beer for you. I'll have a duff, you have one too. Good times. Oh, Buffalo is in Wyoming, right? What Buffalo? I thought Buffalo's in New York. City, but like the animal. Oh! <laughs> Let's take about 30 seconds. Duff beer for me. Man, I need to watch that episode of The Simpsons again. Is it? Oh, you know what? All what? episodes of The Simpsons are on Disney Plus. Really? But I heard they cropped them and it doesn't look that good. I know. Well, it's probably gonna fit. It's gonna be like the fitted to the screen. Well, The Simpsons are owned by Disney now. Yeah. Because Disney owns a fox. Just be buying up everything. That's right, they own a lot of IP. Oh, and they had a Duff Beer thing also at Universal. Wait, if the Simpsons are owned by Disney, why is it Universal not Disney? Uh, they have a con contractual okay. obligation with Universal that east of the Mississippi they can use certain IPs, and then west of the Mississippi they cannot. Mm -hmm. That's why Universal's Islands of Adventure has a Spider Man ride, but Disneyland has a Spider Man ride as well. Disneyland has a Mm-hmm. Oh, I saw on Disney's page on Instagram that they're going to use the Disneyland in California as a center to... Vaccinate people. Yeah, so they're probably never going to open. Yeah, not anytime soon. That makes me so sad because I really want to take my kids to Disneyland. You can take them to Disney World in Florida. It's going to get a little on a plane. And it's just it's going to be thousands of dollars, too. I'd rather go to Disneyland. You can go to Euro Disney. The Ignacios. Which polish are you applying now? It is the shiny... Number two, which is the pink one. Yes, from the limited set. Of three. So they come in sets of three. They're not available open stock. Limited edition, y'all. Make sure you apply it a liberally. Make sure you apply it like you're frosting a cake because it is a thicker gel because of the glitter. So it will um, self-level out. <clears throat> Look at Paul replying to everybody. That one At least he tries. He's trying. Let's bake that 30 seconds and then we're going to do a coat of shiny over everything to seal it and make it really nice and smooth. Alright, so I'll have a duck beer. You have one too. You had it. Woohoo! Nobody remembers that uh, at Simpsons episode where they go to Duff Land or Duff Gardens and then Bart and Lisa are like fighting over like the water. And then Bart goes, drink the water, Lisa. Don't be a chicken. And then someone goes, shut up, Bart. Lisa, drink the water. <laughs> Did you um, ever play the game? Uh, game? I think so, yes. So now I'm going to go in with one nice coat of shiny over everything. And 
and places at Death Gardens, the Simpsons ride messes with her stomach. <laughs> Cheyenne, Wyoming is the best place where the daddy of them um, all rodeo. Daddy of them um, all rodeo is. Oh. Daddy of what? Daddy of them um, all rodeo. And I think it's kind of close to Canada, isn't it? Sure you get that shiny and apply it all over that nail and seal it and make her nice and glossy. So what did Paul say? He, said, he said they were sexy or something like that? He said those nails were sexy. Seal it, seal it, and deal it, but first bake. <laughs> That's what Paul said. Set it and forget it. You guys, who's gonna go to Houston? Let me know in the comments below. I wanna see you guys in H-Town. Oh, and they have Korean bakeries in Houston. Korean bakeries? Yes. Bake. Let's bake, one minute. Deal it, deal it, bake. Saludo Puerto Rico. Refills, question mark. Refills. Refilling the nails. Antonio's daughter's name is Cheyenne. Dub so for Max. When you, so when you had the baby, you found out, like, obviously she was a girl. You went through your whole pregnancy thinking she was a boy. Or what happened? I would be so upset thinking, like, oh, I'm pregnant with a girl. And then it comes out a boy and you have all the girl stuff. That would be, uh... Because that happened to my cousin. Huh. That would not be a very uh, fun situation to be in, right? Imagine, all the stuff, stuff and it's like, you can't really use it. maybe it should be gender neutral like yellow <laughs> Leah Hamilton said please come to Canada and Paul said soon Paul Ignace is gonna go to Canada <laughs> I had an ultrasound late and teach them the ways of the Chamorros up in Canada so I'm gonna take the smooth side of the buffer and just go over the edges make sure there's no little snaggaroos Oh, the Dr. Seuss land at um, Universal is also quite charming. Did you see that um, the cat hat? Yeah, we went on the ride, and we also had green eggs and ham. Okay, you was it good or no? Mm, not really. You, so oh, we did, did eat at Universal. Universal. <laughs> we had green eggs and ham. Do they have any like kettle corn or anything like cutesy, like souvenir? -y? I think the gift shop was closed, but they had a bakery there and. All kinds of little knickknacks and doodads and thingamabobs. Antonio met the real Grinch. He's hilarious. Who's the real Grinch? At Universal? Circus. Circus. Mugurkus. Yes, it was closed. What's that? It's this big gift shop at the Dr. Oh. Um, Seuss area at Universal. And it looks so cool. It's very, like, quirky, very... Fun. Yes. <laughs> when are you going to come to Puerto Rico? I hope soon. I don't have any plans yet. So now we're going to apply cuticle oil to the nail. Hydrate them for Langees. Keep them moist. No, don't say moist. Why? Because that word. Moist. Oh my gosh, Paul said the real Grinch's name is Nicholas Ignacio. Who's that? My son. Oh. When Nico was a baby, he had a little poop, like Baby Grinch. Mm -hmm. Paul is the Baby Grinch. He really is the Grinch. Really? And there we have it, my loves. The most <laughs> moist nails ever. They are snatched for days. I'm gonna make that a word now, moist. Ew, stop, I can't. Look at that ombre, isn't she natural? The mini sculpted almond with that little bit of pink shiny on top. She is ready. She is ready to slay the game. She's ready to go to H-Town and go to Rick's. Moist. <laughs> Look how lovely they are, you guys. And that cuticle is blended for fill. Love them, well, my loves, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys um, visit enocouture.com, the best nail products in the world, probably made here in America. Now, those are sexy nails, baby, said Paul Ignacio. That's a lot coming from She's Paul. Stanched. Great job, man. She's moist. Hi, Abby. It's spectacular. Beautiful. I miss it. Don't worry. He's going to save the video. And you can rewatch it. Yes. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to visit enocouture.com. Thank you for supporting American companies and American manufacturing. And I will see you guys in the next video.